coming in, they're definitely in need. Yeah, we could be cold. I mean, it's not all that cold out, but it is wet. Yeah, those overnight lows, thank goodness they are not in the freezing range for us here in the valley. Otherwise, we would be uh, we had a lot of snow in the valley. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if all this rain was snow. No, I don't want to imagine. <laughs> when you put that out of my mind, um, current conditions. We're keeping the snow where it belongs up in the mountains. Current conditions here in downtown Portland. You can see crossing the Burnside Bridge there. Uh, definitely wet roads. The rain continues. It's 44 degrees. Wind out of the southeast now at 14 miles per hour. Your sunrise time tomorrow morning, 741. Let's look at those temperatures across the metro here on the west side. Forest Grove, 47. We have 46 in Sherwood as well as West Lynn. Washougal, the holdout here at 40 degrees. Troutdale, 43. And Happy Valley, 47. So these temperatures, they've come up a few degrees compared to even 24 hours ago. So where's the freezing level? Right at about 5,000 feet. You have 31 right there, Mount Hood. Uh, so we're going to see stronger winds developing tonight through tomorrow morning. And we could be talking about one to two feet of snow from this elevation on up. And the higher you go, the more you're going to get. Let's take a look at your ski report so far. So Timberline in the last 24 hours reporting five inches of snow and counting a base of 22 inches, a base of 19 inches for you, Mount Hood Meadows. Three inches of new snow, ski bowl, a little bit lower in elevation, so we haven't accumulated anything there yet, but that's going to change here in the next couple of days. Uh, Mount Bachelor, three inches new and 15 inches for a base there. Uh, let's take a look ahead into the future, getting us at least from now through Saturday night. Possible snow accumulations could look like this. Again, above 6,000 feet, we're talking about anywhere from one and a half to maybe even two and a half feet of snow. That's above 6,000 feet. That also puts you at the top of many of our ski resorts. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. But now closer to base level, right around 5,000 feet, we might be looking at closer to about a foot of snow. And then at 4,000 feet for you, government camp, accumulations could range anywhere from three to maybe even five or six inches. Again, accumulations go from now all the way through Saturday afternoon. So why do we have Hawaii on the map? I just want to show you a relationship here. <laughs> we have the Hawaiian Islands here in the corner. And we have this big plume of moisture stretching all the way across the Pacific. So we're not done with the rain, not anytime soon. We're not done with the snow either. So a winter storm warning that's in effect lasting now all the way through Friday midday for areas above 5,000 feet again for that one to two foot possibility of snow accumulations. Right now we're seeing a nice narrow stretch here of some heavier showers uh, going all the way from Longview down to uh, Scapoose over to Portland and then moving into Estacada. So you're going to get bands of heavier showers coming through. This is going to be more enhanced by tomorrow as this warm front continues to move through. Warmer temperatures are actually going to push in and a little bit of instability is going to be created. So we could be talking about some thunderstorms by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon. Here you go. Heavier showers right around Tigard as well over to Milwaukee and Damascus. Uh, Gresham seeing some lighter variety rain. So timing things out for us, uh, very few opportunities to get a break from any rain from now all the way through Friday morning. Gusty winds also developing. We could see gusts here in the valley anywhere from uh, 15 to 20 miles per hour. Saturday is a day where early in the morning you get a quick break and then we're back to more rain, more mountain snow. We like to see that. Uh, we could see snow levels as low as about 3,000 feet or even 2,000 feet for eastern Oregon. We could also see snow levels here in the Cascades. Uh, going down into the foothills by the time we get to Saturday night, maybe something closer to about 2000 feet. Uh, Sunday is a day starting off early in the morning, very brief break, and then we're right back to more wet weather for you Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. Hey, have you guys heard of the cold moon? It is the last full moon of the decade tonight at nine o'clock. Well, 933 specifically. I don't know that many of you are going to be able to see the cold moon, though, because we're dealing with clouds mm -hmm. and rain. There's your seven day forecast. Oh, the rain, it continues. Yeah, maybe get a break on Tuesday. Maybe. <laughs> Thanks, Natasha. <laughs> we'll be back after this.